Hey guys, welcome back to Seat Story Cup. We're going to be going to our next match in a moment. I'm going to be sitting here with uh, Tyson Power. And uh, first, before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the webpage that you should be on right now. Let's go ahead and jump over to that. TakeTV.net. Of course you should be there. That's where we are right now. They put on the best tournaments. They're so fun. And what, what is Twitch? I don't understand. What Twitch is, is just an application on TakeTV.net, as yeah, far as oh, I know. Okay, okay. Uh, that so makes sense. <laughs> let's take a look here, guys. Here's your chat. There you are. <laughs> uh, you know, this is paused. Save some processing speed. But let's look down here. See this? You probably have heard of Kingwin. They do a lot to support the Hearthstone scene. Click on this on the page. It's going to bring you here. Somewhere on this page. I don't know where it is. Could it be here? GTA 5? Probably. There is going to be an Amaz, and he's going to be wearing a hat just like we're wearing right now. Okay, so you want to find that Amaz, and you can win prizes <laughs> if you can find oh. that Amaz. And what can you win? Do you know? I'm not sure exactly. Mm. Probably something game-related, if I had to guess. Uh, and then you're going to go to the Take TV website. Let's take a look at that, or the Take TV uh, Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash Take TV. <gasps> and then you're going to go down. See this link right there? Kingwin.net? You click on that, and this is where you're going to put in where you found the hidden Amaz Easter uh, egg. Okay, no. and uh, yeah, right down here. This is Amaz hid somewhere on Kingwin. Can, Can you, you find, find him? him? Uh -oh. See that? And that is where you're going to go, and you put that in. All right, guys, do that, and make sure that you actually enter TAKE in all caps uh, if you buy something from Kingwin, because you get 3% off. Mm -hmm. And also, this actually, if you find a Maz, it's 20 euro voucher. Wow. On Kingwin. It's pretty and good. It, yeah. I cool mean, prizes. if you live in Sweden or something, you're like, well, that isn't worth anything. Actually, but if you live uh, somewhere else, that's worth a lot. We actually have the game live here. Oh, sick. Oh, All right. Um, so you it's just time, guys. To the hyped. Yep. yep. All right. Let's do it, guys. We're getting into this. It's the versus hyped. Two extremely good players. And we see a shaman deck. Oh, my God. That's exciting. Mech shaman, too. So. Okay, Zalay is playing Mech Shaman here, and it's going to be going up against a Druid. Guys, talk to me about Mech Shaman. I don't play the deck that much. He's it's, got Bell Reaver. I it's know. like it's like a, it's really similar to a Mech Mage. It just has not the cards that really uh, combine it that well, but it has the weapon. Like the Power Mage is pretty good. It's I like mean, the Blast Mage a bit. It can just do this. Yeah, yeah, it's like that is Max. Like just play this at turn oh one. My God. Well, how do you counter this as Druid? Like, how? Um, double inner fate. No, it's not enough. Savage Roar Wrath? Uh, well, the inner fate Savage keeper Roar, is yeah. already a lot, actually. I mean, I don't could, think there are much better answers. Like, because it is Shaman, I guess you could innervate out the Druid of the Claw just in top mode. Because it might actually be hard for them to deal uh, the extra 2 3 damage that mm. it needs. Until he top decks a hex. That would yeah. be sick. But oh even people are cutting hexes in uh, in the shaman. Yeah. In the cutting hexes? Shaman. Yeah. yeah. Well, they don't see, even I don't ever see shamanless. All I see is the only bodies of shamans yeah. at tournaments. Weird. Sometimes <laughs> the only one drop they are running is rock by the weapon. So we and are going to see the innervate. And uh, ooh, that's actually a great race. top deck. It allows them to actually trade pretty good one for one or one and a half. Oh, yeah, one and a half and some health. It, it just, it's, I feel bad because it's the. Yeah, you don't want to. It's a 3 2, dude. Oh. But yeah, I think it is. Like, you can also play um, the Yeti and the Tang now. It's also like you play on turn 3, you play for 7 mana, actually. Yeah. Like, it's pretty insane, too. That's pretty crazy, yeah. Double Mech Warper is so broken. <laughs> well, if it does this, it's it's pretty strong. I, I would yeah, just I would play say. the Fell Reaver just to get it out there. Yeah, and then he innervates Wrath, and your deck is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Innervate, Wrath, Big Game Hunter, nine oh, cards gone. God. I played Fell Reaver exactly one time. Well, I didn't even play it. I recombobulated something into it, oh. like a, a heal bot or something, against Control Warrior. And I'm like, oh, you know what? It's not okay. Pretty, it's pretty good. Okay. And then he had all of his one cost spells in his hand. Oh. What a lucker. Me. What a lucker. What a lucker, dude. So he go actually goes for the play, Tice said. I guess he's just going to wait. I mean, it's Druid, so yeah. Druid can't really punish this. He does have, like, the perfect card yeah. for it. He, he has, has the keeper, mm. so it's, like, a pretty good again. Yeah, it, it's I mean, just hard to find. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there is look how many. In this situation. Like, yeah. five mechs already on the board for... I, I think I would have played the Power Mace as the Shaman just to get rid of the... 
the Drew that they call, but then again, who am I? I, I don't know how to play. It's already You're dirty. already in the round of 16. These guys aren't. Oh, ah, okay, that's true. So that's actually, true. you're like much better than these guys. They're in the round of 32. You're, in fact, twice as good as I'm these guys. Twice. That's how it works. Okay. Yeah. So he actually goes ahead and trades with the spider tank. That's a little bit greedy, I would say. Yeah, but like... All the mechs that the uh, Shaman already had, that Dude, with yeah. a double mech warp, if, they probably are already in play, so I don't think he's that afraid anymore. If you're worrying about the discount for mech warpers at this point, when he's already played like 12 mech cards, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like, mean, how many mech cards is in this deck, right? He has to have 29. 20, 20, 20, yeah. <laughs> 28 and Power Mace and Fire Elemental. Oh, okay. That's how it works. But he has just one mace. fire alley, huh? Just one fire, and only one power mace. Even though you're playing 28 max. <laughs> yes, the power mace That's is really works. good here. Yeah, well, was he also trading a keeper, or is it, or can you play that aggressive by just going face with everything? I think you still trade in the four or five. Yeah. Like I think, like oh, 31 H. Okay, he goes for the face. Wow. It's like a keeper, it is annoying, but it doesn't do that much. Mm. I mean, even if like the worst case scenario is that he maybe swipes uh, a mech warper and trades in the uh, the keeper into the other one, but then he can just kill it with the uh, the weapon later and get a buff on the on the yeti. It's a six, like a six seven. Mm. Yeah, and by if he if he was trading now already and the druid will just swipe, like he had nothing with this weapon to trade in, so it makes yeah. sense. And I mean, we we see that the druid. His hand is, I mean, he top decked a pretty good card, but I would think he would Savage Roar here. He could Savage Roar Wrath, or he could Savage Roar just Hero Power to yeah. clear both of the Mech Warpers. Seems pretty good. Of course, he's going to be taking a lot of damage the next turn. Yeah. I mean, then Salai just has a great follow-up. He has Fel Reaver into Fire Elemental, and, and this is one of those scenarios where Fel Reaver is actually a great card. <laughs> yeah. Since your opponent has used up all the cards in his hand, it's pretty sick. But then, actually, in mech, in mech decks, it's pr it's always okay. Like, you're never gonna draw your wall deck. It's no. always like, no, no. if it goes to turn 6, 7, you have to win. Sometimes you can win, like, one turn to latest, but after that, it gets harder and harder every yeah. turn. I mean, Fel, it's like Fel Reaver is such a, it's such a strange card. It is. It oh is my really god. Good. So he's gonna go for the Savage Roar. And yeah, maybe even Wrath to kill the... I mean, he has two attacks, so I guess you just hero power. Mm. You I can like save. You, yeah, you can save the 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 raft for something else. I mean, but that will be in six seven yeti now, man. Like just some yeah. bull fist Ooh. ogre. Ooh. <laughs> Second fell reaver. The Ooh. effects stack, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> well, I don't think he's gonna play both at once, guys, because he'll get decked in like two seconds. I mean, it would be pretty funny. Look it at would his be board, awesome. man. Like, what the hell? Like, he, re he really needs Nature Lies now. Natural Lies. <laughs> <laughs> like, how can you deal with him? Bull of his Ogre as Druid, man. And an 8-8, eight, eight, man. Yeah, like, big game. It was so fun. Nah, it's oh. slow, but... Abusive big game hunter. If only you played abusive in, in Druid. Dude, that's some good tech right there. It's new tech. New tech. I actually used that at last Seed Story Cup. Oh, really? Yeah. In Druid? I killed it. I have no well, no, time Paladin, for games. but, you know, same thing. Crackle. Crackle. It doesn't dead. matter. There, There's yeah. lethal already. I mean, he has lethal with the, the fire elemental. I'm pretty sure he's going to spot it. Yep. So that was actually a really fast spot, game. Right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I think we, we missed the classes, right? Oh, the right. The in front of us. classes uh, we saw from Zelay, we saw the Hunter Band and Hype Band damage from Zelay. And what is pretty interesting, they both are running uh, Rogue, and yep. we didn't saw that many Rogue yet in the tournament, right? No. Um, yeah, on, like we on this saw stream, we saw. Using it. Yeah, it was only Raynard yeah. in Group A that did, uh, that used it. Yeah, I actually thought we'd mm -hmm. see a lot more Rogue. I That's know that there was a lot more in the other groups mm -hmm. on the other stream. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a bit like in Conquest, some people find it a bit risky to go with Rogue because yeah. it's one of the classes that can get uh, really focused yeah. on... It's yeah. really hard to counter a specific deck in Conquest because because you only have nine classes, it's hard to have three that's really good against one deck. Mm. And Rogue is one of those classes that have three decks that just counter it really, really hard. And what will you what will we expect now from Zelay? He won with the shaman. I'd say a rogue versus rogue. Yeah. Oh, you saw oh, it already. You're, you're, you're cheating, so Artosis. Come on. It wasn't damn. on the screen. See, we're just bringing it up now. Wow. It might not be rogue versus rogue. Who knows? <laughs> it might okay, not. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, it's rogue against rogue. Oh, we're right. Wow. Wow. 
Wow, what a read, This man. is why I'm a great commentator, guys. Yeah. He said he was a wizard before. It yeah. must be true. Yeah. yeah. Must be true. What that had. Actually, he uh, looks like a wizard now, man. Lothar was saying uh, before that he actually was like, oh, okay, you know what? I think that both these guys 100% will play Rogue in this tournament. Yeah, yeah but like, Hart is known for his Rogue and yeah. his Mage. So yeah. I would always expect Rogue and Mage from him. And he bought it. And Zalei, like... He is also like, he really likes Rogue. He brings it to almost every tournament. So if that was a match where I would say they will play both Rogue, I will, yeah, I can guess it hmm. was this one. And they're both playing so Mage. So they're still waiting to, to mulligan here. Oh, he keeps Prep Sprint and Lothab. Wow, well, Lothab is insane, and he man. Tarzan, in the mirror. man. Like, oh, wow. In the mirror, Lothab is insane. Why isn't that a golden Tarzan yet for, for hyped? Job's Must done. be poor. Tempo Storm isn't paying him enough. No, I guess not. That's an issue. Yeah. Um, I mean, Hive 10 is really slow. I guess that's what happens when you keep keep those cards. But, yeah, I but guess what are you looking for more on turn 2 and turn 3? Like, you know, uh, the other rogue will always remove it. So, yeah. yeah. I can understand. I, I really like keeping prep sprint. If I mean, I, I think there are two ways of playing the rogue versus rogue. It's either going super aggressive mm. or being very reactive. And it seems like with the hands they have, both of the both of these guys are gonna become really, really reactive. Um, Saleh has mostly minions. He can't really do anything before turn four. I don't think he's gonna drop the SI agent. Just you really don't think so? I think he's gonna drop the. I think he'll just like drop a minion each turn. What else does his hand set up for him? Like, what do you need two damage from SI on? Nah, but it's just a point that the rogue can coin out the file of THG. He plays just yeah. a prep or in the back step. He so deadly many ways. poison. Like they're. The, the Royal Rogue is so reactive that you don't even want to play minions normally okay. at turn 3. I mean, he didn't attack turn 2, so <laughs> okay. oh, that kind okay, of sucks. for it. Wizard. 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 This is pre-recorded, guys. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Like, <laughs> I mean, in this case, Hyped has nothing. Yeah, like, we are talking that, the, like, you can coin out, or you can coin prep sprint now, but it's so really slow. Bad. Do you just sap yeah, it? But no. Is that okay? No, I don't think so. Uh, and I don't think it's. Well, okay. What else do you sap in a in a rogue versus rogue? So I guess you could sap like shredders. You sap yeah, but Lothab. what? It makes sap no sense. <laughs> that's that's good. Like that. That's a good play. It makes no sense now. Or that's. I mean, what else do you do? Coin coin prep like coin prep sprint, and draw a backstab, and it's dead. I guess. I guess you can draw backstab. But then you have to. Yeah, be it's, really I mean, good. it's four cards. You have to be you probably really, get it. really good at this game to draw back. Four cards? Here, let's do the math. On it's 50 50, man. You draw it or you don't. <laughs> you draw it. <laughs> <laughs> that's good math, actually. That's something. That's, that's like, why you're so good. That's why you win so many <laughs> tournaments. Oh, my God. Yeah. You just believe in the heart you, of the Yeah, cards. you just yeah. have to believe. Yeah. That's the only thing. He's just going to play Blood Mage here. All right, that's fine. He's just trying to cycle it through. Yeah. I mean, there's so many ways. He has already a pretty okay hand if he can just stabilize like the next two turns. Should have just prepped Ooh. Tarzan. That, that would really good. But I, I think you play the Shredder. If though. that was an inner fade, man. <laughs> an inner fade. That would be so. Rogue definitely needs inner fade. I think that, that would make oh, this yeah. game a lot that better. Ball <laughs> <laughs> Rogue is so it's so bad right now. It needs some new cards. Definitely. Shredder or Violet Teacher. Shredder. Yeah, Shredder. Shredder. Yep. That's what Zalei decides to go with. So, ooh, Dr. Boom. That's not a good draw. No. A lot of minions, but they are all Back too stab. expensive. And SI. This is getting a little bit scary. This is getting it's really... This is this pretty looks... weird, actually. Normally, a rogue against rogue goes way different than yeah. I think, what's going here. I think I would coin out the Drake. If you and don't... you draw backstab. If you don't draw backstab... <laughs> So I mean, options. you do draw backstab and then you prep sap the shredder. That's what I think. That would be nice. That would be really good. Yeah. How and is then, uh, I'm totally out, prepared. How for is him coining to do out low tip here? It's okay too. Um, because, but yeah, it's so. I, I like. You still like, have to prep sap, right? Like no matter. Yeah, what. I like prep sap here. I mean, it kind of sucks when you have sprint so in your hand, but you have options. minions every turn. So yeah. I don't think you're gonna find the time to prep sprint anyways. Yeah. I don't think sprint's being played this game. He can, he can also I mean, sap coining out the SI, like, and you kill off his SI with your uh, weapon. Like, it just depends on how yeah, how lucky you sorry. think you are. If you draw backstab, it's better to play the Drake. Otherwise, it might be better to play the Lothab. Who's considered the luckiest player in Hearthstone right now for the pros? 
I mean... Because it used to be uh, Nimsh when I was like really playing a lot, but who is it now? I mean, that's just calling shots right here. Yeah, yeah man, this is what's us. fun about this. <laughs> Alright, looks like he doesn't feel that lucky. Mm, no. I'm not sure. It, it is the safest I play. I mean, this no. is... That, that was a fine play, too. Okay, so just a Drake on Curve, or is there any other better play? No, I'm pretty sure it's just a Drake. I like he believes, and he's gonna get rewarded. No, Ooh. no. It's it's not good now on this turn, but that's I mean, a low tap in the mirror is always yeah. good. Mm. It will never be bad. Now here's the problem that I have, right? Because it looks like he's got a good curve, but Tarzan's gonna ruin that. He's gonna have an unused mana when he plays Doctor Boom. Mm. Oh, that's an issue. First world problems. Oh man, you find that an issue. Well, and right That's at this moment, no, no, all I'm thinking about Maybe is he draws like a Deadly Poison. Not like an Eviscerate, that would be pretty good. Ah, Here, there it is, the Deadly Poison. But oh, I mean, Deadly per Poison's zero. No, it becomes zero, yeah. yeah. He needs, he, he needs still a, needs like oh, an Eviscerate. Oh. Damn. So is it... Is, you have a kind of the same thing here. But mm. I guess Lothab is just better. Do you uh, kill the Azure, though? I don't think so. If with, with the low tap on Bard, it's not that scary. I would always say you kill it off because yeah. Azure Drake is really scary in a rogue, but with low tap. I mean, you only do have you only have one dagger, so um, maybe. Yeah, I, I actually I like. You it. don't have an eviscerate, which is kind of what you want against Drakes. How are you gonna counter low tap? Oh. Playing a your twelve own mana low sprint. Tap. I mean, it's probably gonna be low tab. Yeah, that's the best counter to low tab, man. You play your own low tab. And then we're just gonna see Emperor and trade. Yeah, I mean, this is in this situation, the Emperor is actually really insane. Yeah, though. it is. This is actually looking wait, a lot better. Wait, are there any situations where Tarzan is not insane? Sometimes when it's your just opponent way too slow. has lethal on board. <laughs> And okay. Pretty well, bad. well, sometimes it's really. It's you know just what they need slow. to do is just make uh, make it instantaneous that it just reduces all the mana by one. Just uh, make, make it a just make cry. it four. Just yeah, make it four. a battle cry is right off. <laughs> it's like but Melhouse it's like, Mana Storm for you only. It's like not a battle cry that affects the board, and that's uh, sometimes it can. It's just too slow at turn six when you mm, are behind yeah. on board. It's too slow, but Ooh. otherwise in control matchups it's insane. That's a good card. That's one of the cards he was looking for. Just to kind of close out this game. Do you yeah. prep it? Like prep a this, or do you do so. it later? Ooh, he is actually going to do it. I, I would just go phase. He's in such a powerful position here. You may as well do this, right? You watch now. It's going to drop the a Doomsayer. Come on, Doomsayer. That's so. Oh. Oh. That's so good, actually. All right, that's crazy right there. Oh God. Doctor Boom for six mana. No, Lay I mean, in some trouble. He needs to clear this board, but he can. He has a Blade Fury, but it only clears one, so I guess it's Sap. Wow, Sapping Tarzan. Man, that <laughs> sounds so bad. But yeah. That, but then you have a problem. Do you play Dr. Boom or Tarzan? Which one is more OP? <laughs> They're both six mana now. I would say in this situation that Dr. Boom is just mm. fine. I think the Dr. Boom might be better, yeah. actually. But what are we gonna z see from Zelay now? now? Like it's probably gonna be a sap. Yeah, Lothab sap. And yeah, he can make a six six at win, but uh, how? Sap, sap like a deadly poison and playing at win. Like it doesn't I mean, clear the board. That's the problem. That's just really, really weak to sap. You can also play teach your mm. sap deadly poison. He already played one sap. He did though, only. So. Yeah, that is true. Four cards in hand. Yeah. I can see him here playing quite a teacher. Yeah. Gives you two one ones. I guess that's fine. Maybe. And oh, he's gonna. Okay. I mean, he's, he is on 29 HP, so. Yeah. Yeah. I guess he just doesn't want to sap it back and just get it replayed. It and makes you gotta sense. deal with it eventually. Yeah, it makes sense. It's actually like this part is pretty okay against Dr. Boom. It with the one ones. So I mean he doesn't have any way of clearing the he has a sap, I guess. But is it actually gonna be Dr. Boom here? Yeah. It's, it's not that good here. I mean you have but to yeah, you it's like, like still no, it's still really good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dr. Boom isn't that good here, said nobody ever, Tice. But he has the one ones, it's <laughs> That is true, but then he's gonna take eight to face. Yeah, because that's, that's true. how Doctor Boom works. Yeah. Yeah, you can make a weapon, but it doesn't do anything here. Yeah. No, I mean, and your weapon is also pretty slow. 
What about Drake Ed- Edwin? Drake Edwin. It's like two four fours. Two four fours. We just well, saw, you a saw that. The, yeah, you and you saw that. So like Colin really deal with it. So maybe that gives a sign to hype that he really wants to play Ezra Drake. Like Edwin he does. And, he does draw a card. It's with better the for the group, but. Mm. I mean, is there anything you want to draw here? Fan of Knives? Fan of Knives would be okay. But I think just Dr. Boom is just too strong. I will clear the Father Teach here, I think. I don't. Yeah. It's like, it's kind of the same thing. Like, you just saw. Yeah, but otherwise, they are coming more 1 1s and the bumps yeah. are getting more useless. Yeah. Ooh, an Azure Dray. That's pretty good. I wonder. Dr. Boom. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, his, right. his hand is kind of <laughs> clunky, so getting another card draw is pretty good. What does he need, man? He needs like to draw two or three cards. That eviscerate would be fine. Drake eviscerate would be really good. Oh yeah, yeah, that would actually be fantastic. Could actually kill off Boom. Yeah. Hmm. But otherwise, what what other plays do you have? You have Lotha Boom. You could sprint into Sap prep Dr. Abyss Boom. backstab. Sap Doctor Boom. I mean, Sap <laughs> is you have to. Yeah. You can't just leave a seven-seven on the board. No, probably not. Does it? Oh. Close. Yeah, a four. That was a four. Yeah. They, they're generally four. Yeah. So he's going to play Pilot and Shredder Sap, I guess, just because. And that is an one. Oh. Huh? What? Was that a bug or? <laughs> <laughs> Must have been. Hmm. Pilot and Shredder is pretty annoying to deal with. Unless you top deck a backstab and have an Azure Drake in your hand. Yeah, that can be a good way to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> and you have the... I just uh, can't wait to see what comes out of this. We haven't had that many crazy shredders today. There was oh. there were some Doomsayers on the Beast stream earlier. Oh, okay. That's pretty so, good. Why did he kill it if they're... Yeah. A second 4-3, man. Okay. So he has a way to clear the Azure Drake, at least. That's something. I think you just start with the draw E, maybe. Do you sprint or do you Azure Drake? With the sprint, you have, you're more likely to draw something I good. Wonder. Yeah, I think but I you would get sprint no, here. You get no board, though. That's the problem. Azure Drake at win. Like, uh. you have two mana, so the the only card that's good for you is Sap. If you draw a fist rate from an Azure Drake, like, you can play it with Blood Mage and it just kills off at win. Yeah. Then, wow. I mean, again, yeah, that's definitely... If that's if you draw a fist rate, you, that's like... A game changer. He didn't play a fist raid yet, so he has two left, right? Or did we saw already one? Uh, I don't think so. Can't remember. Yeah, can't remember. It's either. like if, if there are like the the mirror matches, you are just at at some point. No, I know. Not, Especially the way know. we have these monitors yeah. set up, I keep going back and forth. I'm like, yeah. I don't know who played what, guys. <laughs> I don't even know which one of these is hyped and which one of these is Soleil. I think the rogue is hyped. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. He normally plays Rogue. Yeah, he normally he? plays Rogue. Oh, okay. He's going face, okay. Oh, wow. Maybe that's actually I mean, in good He way just played here. Lothab, so it's going to be really hard to deal with this. Yeah. I actually really like that now I'm thinking of it. The only problem with this play is that Soleil doesn't actually have any extra damage in his hand. He does, however, have the sprint, so he's very likely to draw into something. Yeah, but I actually like it. Like, he. he you know that uh, mm. it will be pretty hard for Hype to deal with it, and he couldn't really deal with the board from. Z so yeah. I mean, he can deal with two minions really easily. Yeah, but there is going to be one more left. And just draw like you still have Sprint in the hand, so. Yep. I mean, we're mm. there's no uh, there's no other play than just playing Doctor Boom. Here. Yeah, there is mm. because like, the draw won't matter because yeah, exactly. you low tap is on the board. If so just Doctor Boom hero power. Yep. Like maybe a heal? Maybe that's what he's thinking of? An earthen ring. Like earthen yeah. ring, but mm. how how much like difference does does three health do in this scenario? So many Like nothing. Yeah, uh, no. Maybe he boom. just wants to like he has ten mana next turn anyways. If he's playing heal bot for example. Oh, what? Okay, he's gonna kill he's the gonna board off here. I think he's afraid of like our tinker yeah. off. Yeah. And I'm not sure like how much I like this play. It's You'd pretty defensive. Yeah, you die to Tinker anyways in two turns. Sap. Don't think we're gonna see Sap here on a 6-1 at one. I guess you Asher Drake. Yeah. Mm. Over sprint. Yeah, I mean you want the just the 4-4. Four four. Yeah, and you can even play the Telnos and play the dagger. You could even Sap. 
the six one. If you feel like uh, you don't want to take six damage, you're so far ahead that you can sap the six one. Yeah. Like if you, if you in any way think you could have like oil oil, bad like, sure why not? But yeah, Azure Drake comes out. Uh, second second sprint. sprint. One sprint is good. Two is most of the time is a bit too much. Two sprints is a yeah. race. But that's just a card you need to draw, yeah. and that's why you want to play two. Prep sprint, prep sprint. It's only eight mana. Oh wow! Just saying. Just a wow, bit and that's cycling eight cards, your deck, man. Eight cards, eight mana. Yep. One mana per card is pretty good. But I mean, he he's most likely gonna hear a power here. Play the blood mage. You could sap it, but. Yeah, but uh, the, you, like, are you actually you will that be, scared? You will be at sixteen lives. Yeah, it's sixteen. It's, okay. All right. So Wizard. Does, uh, Wizard. Wow. We're just a bunch of smart guys. I guess if each of us says one thing that can happen, that's just then we're, one of us is going to be right <laughs> basically every uh, time. I, man, <laughs> you you find it. Um, Blade Fury is actually great. I mean that's that's exactly with what with spell I'm power for. with the Ezra Drake. It's yeah. really insane. I mean and now we we've, we've come Edwin. to the point here where Saleh he went for the all in play, but he just doesn't have the follow up. So now he like he will draw Hyped is actually gonna win this game in <laughs> two turns. Maybe. If he if he top decks something good next turn. Oh Blade Fury Edwin turns. is really good. It's yeah. really good now. Blade Fury Edwin. Didn't he just have this exact same board? Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Boom, we see top deck from Zalei. Not the best. Oh, these draws, like, Ugh. they're not good at this point. I think you have to sprint. Did or we saw preps you already? The, I guess you need an Avis off it. I mean, you, an Avis would be fine. I don't I don't know if you would actually clear the 4-4. I think you here, you just have to hope that mm. he doesn't have it. Like in this spot, either you play Doctor Boom because the Boom bots go face. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and sprint next turn and hope for something. I guess that's maybe the best play. Just play Doctor Boom here. Okay, I like that. It really depends. Like Soleil probably knows better than us so now what he has left much. in the deck, and if he has like double prep left, double uh, if this, he does it's have. Well, I, it's, it's so hard. I think yeah. he has two <laughs> preps, but. I mean, I, I like this play. You just have to hope. Yeah. Like, there's nothing you can do if he has it, but... We do see that he has three extra damage. He needs five more. Ooh, that's there pretty we good. Go. That's <laughs> a pretty good draw. That's All right. Lethal, right? So and I think that it's it. Yeah, that it has it. to be. Yeah, for sure. That's like so much damage. Yep. Okay, so Hyped is winning the Rogue Mirror here. It's going to 1-1 one, one now. Yeah. It looked really, really bad for uh, for a long time, though. Yeah. He managed to pull it back. Mm -hmm. I mean, so I kind of went for all in, didn't have the follow up. Yeah. I liked it though, actually. Once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, once I, you were I, saying that, I, I like that because he could have drawn into it very, very easily. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he only needed like one oil. That was that was it. Like in two turns, he was dead. But he yeah. just didn't get any extra damage. Mm. Okay, so it's one one now. Yep. And so the hyped is with Mage and Drew that now, and Zalei is with Rogan Hunter. Rogan Hunter. So we don't know what Hunter it is. We don't mm. know what. Kind don't of we Drew. know what for Hunter it is? Are people gonna bring Zalei. Control Hunter here? No, well, not Control. I've Hunter, seen a lot. I've mid seen Midrange Hunter. Yeah, okay, Midrange. And I mean, I mean, there are some people Brainette that could <laughs> control, like bring Control Hunter to this tournament. I mean. You think someone would bring Control Hunter to this I tournament? I was thinking about it. Really? Yeah. How long? How long? How long? Yeah. Like I was like thinking of our Gracie stuff too, but I. I, I was thinking. I was thinking about it. Like when I thought it beat Warrior, then I just beat it like four times with Warrior. And it's like no, mm. not gonna play this. Yeah. I'm surprised it lasted mm. four games for you. Yeah. Like yeah, I was considering <laughs> bringing a Maz's Death Knight idea back. You know, like no. I'm no. <laughs> I can't get the cards in time. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so it's Druid against Rogue, and it's a really interesting matchup because people think really differently about yeah. this matchup. That's how I feel. Yeah. Like some people say, yeah, Druid's really good against Rogue, but some others, uh, some really good Rogue players say, I love to play against. Well, Druid. actually, I was I was hearing some people recently say, Tice, that you are in fact the greatest Druid player. So I'm tell me what you think about this. <laughs> well. I think this is really favored for the Druid, but it's... Ah, but yeah, so yeah, I guess it's true. 
I don't know. It, it isn't. It's not uh, like sometimes Roke is sometimes unstoppable if they that's get their. That's a guys. Yeah, that's a Tosh. But oh, go wow. ahead. Like Druid can. It's really hard for the Druid to deal with uh, really strong uh, combo effects from the er uh, in the early game from the yeah. Rogue when the comp teachers out. Shredders can be really hard, but we see really slow starts from yeah, both here. From both. I think that it's more. It's better for the Rogue because. Uh, yeah. The for Druid sure. needs it more. For sure. What's this uh, Toshley all about? I'm not actually sure. I've never... Is he playing, like, is there Gazlo in here? What's going on? Like, the only time I've seen Toshley and Druid was... I was watching someone's stream. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was Raynad's stream, actually. So it does make sense. It's a Tempo Storm tech card, man. Tempo Storm tech card. They don't Confirmed. know. So, Violet Teacher hey, backstab's pretty class. good. Mm -hmm. You can clear the 4-3. But we do. I'm so excited. To see what comes out. I'm like just. You're waiting. A, you're a fan of the Shredder, right? Just, just <laughs> as someone who watches more Hearthstone than he plays, yes, yeah. I am a fan of Shredder. It's actually pretty good. You can swipe and it actually stays alive. Yeah, that's. It's, it's one of bad. the only minions that will stay alive here. Yeah, it's it is a swipe here. The keeper doesn't really make sense. Oh. Uh oh. Powder. Uh -oh. You are the prediction guy. Dude, come on. Come on. Uh oh. I actually think this matchup is quite boring. Why? I, I think I think <laughs> Druid is quite because, boring. Because yeah, this Druid, you hate Druid, right? Don't lie, you, I mean, you hate Druid. I, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I hate Druid. Yeah. I hate Druid too, and I'm playing it in the tournament. I I don't think I've ever fielded a Druid deck. I and just it, and hate it, it actually so much. won. It's like it won three games and didn't lose a single game. I'm actually happy I brought it. That's good. for once. I hate Druid so much. Yeah. With a passion. Tice is just feeling awkward. I'm not guys. saying anything <laughs> at the moment now. But you play a different druid than most people, right? You play face druid, right? Face druid. I, no, <laughs> I, I play my druid just... I, I really like to play druid sometimes aggressively more, yeah? Yeah. I think this That's why I call account face just druid. died. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe it did. Maybe an admin can come out and help us with that PC real quick. So many Bliss. options. Is there some way to watch both hands on this screen? Oh, it's up again. We got oh, it. I got it's it. Up. I got it's it, up. guys. Okay, okay. Quick, 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 quick. Come on, powder. Who was I expecting to delay? Yes, there we go. you were. <laughs> I remember. So we see the Azure Drake. That was top deck, Drake. Right? I'm pretty sure he didn't have No, he had one. I'm oh, pretty no, sure yeah. he had one. But he also top decked one. Oh, as you oh, see wow. from the second he, Azure. See, see, I knew instinctively. <laughs> wow, but that's not the one he played, so how did you know that? Uh, Is this how you got out of your group? This I have like I was gonna say X ray vision, but it doesn't really work. Stream ray vision. I'm not sure why or why uh or I was sure really like Powder the... got out of his group. That's what he was gonna say. No <laughs> I was thinking didn't, wasn't the swipe better than Keeper Oster? I'm pretty sure it was. So, I, 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 I would have thought so, yeah. yeah. Hmm. It's like, now you get in a pretty awkward spot. What do you do? Like, Druid of the Claw and Taunt? You I have mean, to you just know that he's gonna be able to deal with it somehow. You yeah. have to stall into turn 7, where you can play Dr. Boom. You gotta get that Toshly out, man. The Toshly next turn is actually gonna be really good. I better than Tarzan? Tarzan? There's a card called Tarzan. Yeah, man. Emperor. He's the king of the jungle. That's the oh, emperor. Tarzan. Yeah. The emperor of the jungle. Yeah, the emperor of the jungle, of course. But would you prefer Toshley to him? Where shall I mean, I it's a 5-7, which is actually yeah. kind of a, a big deal here. But we'll see what happens here. Ooh, that's... It's a bit... I mean, his hand is only minions. It's really bad yeah. in this scenario. Like, the only With way Ezra you can Drake. get the SI is... Edwin SI. <laughs> two to Edwin, man. That's so awesome. Edwin SI. But otherwise, it, whatever. Otherwise, you have to Azure Drake and hope you get backstab. Mm. Yeah, or you play like a teacher or shredder and hero power and kill oh, yeah. your hero that's, power. That's fine, actually. That's actually fine. I think that's what he's gonna do. And I guess. Otherwise, you are re mm. if you don't draw anything good from the Azure Drake. Well, it's only backstab. <laughs> like, yeah. what can you draw more from One the out of Azure Drake? Yeah. One out of twenty. You feeling lucky? With, we yeah, see that two to there Edwin. There was already one played at least. Yeah. This guy's toast. Two to Edwin. Wow. Edwin is broke, man. He's pretty <laughs> good. Oh. He actually trades off. I, I like this. Yeah, I like it too. Because his hand is only minions, he knows I, that he doesn't get value yeah. from the teacher anyways. Ooh. That can be pretty Ooh. useful. 
inner fate, always a good draw. So, the question again, which one is better? You, you go Tarzan, you have an Innervate now. Next turn you can probably kill him between Tarzan and Innervate. <laughs> like, it's... I mean, you can play, I guess, I guess so. But Innervate, it, it shall be, like, it's still zero mana. Because he has to this. He, yeah. has, to, he yeah. has to run into it. So, sure. like, now it's like he gets two and a half extra Innervates. Yeah. That's a lot of Innervates. Um, so are we going to see a spell here? True, with I'd more Innervate. Innervate. But that's not the spell he was looking for. Okay, so it I, says I guess Dr. It's, Boo. Yeah, it's just Dr. Boo. Mm. And you trade in your two minions, 3-2 two, two, and the 2-2. Two, two. I wonder. It's so poor to see in 2-2 two, two Edwin, man. Yeah. It's like... I mean, man. he's actually like... The Druid is actually going to come back. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. He's got his BGH there. His he's got BGH a swipe that costs three mana. Exactly. And he has an Innervate. Wow. For, can he play Dr. Boom as well? No, no, no. That's almost. I almost. <laughs> so it's two, five. It's five for five. And then, yes, if he can go. If only was it, Yeah. It, uh, a bit late for the wild growth. You just take your boom bots to the face and, yeah, I yeah. like this. And just hero power. And it sucks a bit. <laughs> Or maybe even Bald Grove still, because you have two mana left. Hmm. I don't think you keep her face. <laughs> <laughs> Innervate, keep her face. That well, I tell you what, if it was Strive Crow playing, I think that's what he would do. He well, would I was really thinking of there. it because you have a curve that yeah. you're going to play one minion. But what yeah. are they going to hit for? One. Brutal. Under average. Under oh my average. god. <laughs> so unlucky. Well, bro. Oh, well, okay. But now he can play Dr. Boom, Innervate, Toshley next turn, man. <laughs> oh, that's actually that's so really insane. <laughs> I never thought and I'd hear that before. <laughs> again, like we see Soleil, not the hand you're looking for. I, I mean, you have some good top decks with the Azure Drake, so I guess that's what he's going to do. Um, he has two, two Phantom Knives left, which would be great. He has... The second SI agent, backstab. Deadly, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Deadly. So he doesn't do it. Oh, he doesn't. Hey, attention, class. Attention, class. I mean, this is fine, too. You play two minions, he's probably not going to be able to clear both of them. Okay, so... Are we just playing Dr. Boom Toshley here, or are you going for... Well, you could do Druid of the Claw. Druid of the Claw, you can silence the Shredder, maybe? It depends which one you think is more annoying. You can kill both of them with the. With I, the I would say the teacher is more annoying because you can't handle with the one ones Where and. Shall I strike? Yeah, that's my oh. opinion. Okay, goes for the boom. So he 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 values the drew of the claw more than the partially. I guess just for the taunt. Yeah, yeah. Well, what do you need spare parts for right now? And that might be a card that he wants to like. No, I mean, he's going to win the game, right? So he doesn't need to Most likely. It. Yeah, it's looking like it, at least. I so. mean, I guess you have to Azure Drake now. So yeah, I don't, probably I don't Sep, too, because yeah. you can't deal with Boom at the moment. I mean, you can't deal with the... like. Do you Sep the Druid of the Claw, or do you Sep the Boom? You can Sep Druid of the Claw and trade both of your minions into Dr. Boom, but... Or you just go face. I will just see first you with could, Azure you Drake. Could, like, you could mm. go really ham here and go, like, mm. Sap Tinker. But do you want that with Dr. Boom on the board, two Boom bots and you play against Druid that always draw Savage Roar or Force of Nature? Mm. I mean, I think that's maybe the only way you win this game. Yeah, it can be true, it can be like, true. That I would I would seriously think about it, like... What what can you draw off the Azure Drake that, that actually helps so you here? Many I mean, there are some things. Maybe an Fist Raid. Blade Fury. Mm, doesn't really help. I mean, it kind of does. You can clear everything except the... Uh, the Dr. Boom. Oh yeah, that's true. It's actually a pretty okay draw. Now I see it. It seems if he does this, he's yeah. doing it for sure. Oh, uh, just an ooze. See those boom bots. <laughs> oh man. I mean, and he gets the one one, so the boom bots are most likely not gonna hit. No. Oh, oh, that's they don't like the Drake. That's actually pretty good for for us. Uh, hyped. What? Finally, Toshley. Toshley time. Yeah, the hero power doesn't really make sense here, you, you so I like double five drop. You you clear the... No, I, I think you clear the board. With hero power and uh, t uh, keeper. 
Oh you yeah, and do, do you also two. trade then in the fight mm -hmm. a teacher with your Dr. Boom? Are you scared somehow? I mean, you're at 14. Oil is kind of weird, but teacher isn't that annoying because the chances of getting it on your teacher is pretty low. I wonder. So, Tice, you wouldn't you wouldn't go to face here with this boom? I think I want to go to face. It's, it, your <laughs> hand is pretty. I knew you'd go to face. Yeah. Oh, your <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was really thinking of it, but like with the hand he has, yeah, yeah. it's not really that he has like a combo that he can so pull you would, off. You so you would play sludge here, I guess. If you go face, I guess you just you go saw us. No, he didn't saw a sap yet, yeah. right? The sap is still in the hand. I won't mind seeing keeper hero power here, but I can also understand the build here. I can also uh, like maybe he just wants to uh, play the spare part here. And yeah, you could you could definitely spare part the uh, the doctor boom. Okay. Emperor. If we see the Sep here and the Tinker is gonna hit on one of the three minions, is that lethal? Oh, there's no way. 3, 6, it's 12. 5 plus 6, 7, 12. So yeah. many options. I mean, there's no way it was maybe a little bit understating. It's too, ma it's too damage off, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's kind of why I liked clearing. Yeah, but, but if he just drew like a deadly poison or an Ephesus, yeah, it was exactly. actually. It was actually pretty easy lethal, so that's uh, kind of that's why I kind of would have traded. So that's why so that ahead. it was a pretty hard situation actually, because yeah. with the hand we see the hand is not good now. So yeah, I like the attack, but it was a risky attack. Mm. I mean, what do you, what do we see here? Just sap the belt. There has the to be a sap here. Is that that looked like it was on the move? So it was on yeah. the move, but it's yeah, man. If he doesn't sap the boom, he's just dead, right? Yeah, it depends how the Tinker is gonna hit. Otherwise, yeah. he could maybe trade way into it. There we go, Tinker. Where's it going? It always. Oh, oh. that always happens. Okay. So he has to quit the 1 1. Swipe, man. He's On dead to board. swipe, he's dead to Savage Roy, he's dead to Force of Nature. That, is that too too much? I would say, but it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> not that to Azure Drake. Well, maybe. Swipe. Hold on. Swipe. Yeah. You can still Azure Drake <laughs> Keeper Hero Power, so that's still pretty good. The problem with Hero Power is, do you take down the four damage from the? No, but you can do it with the Keeper. Mm. Oh no, you have to. I mean, it depends. Yeah. Like. I like the Azure. It, boom looks really slow now. Yeah, but you, you don't play Boom here. There's, I don't think there's any way. No, you definitely go Azure. There's just like there's still like swipe is lethal, Savage Shore is still lethal. We saw one swipe already, so yeah, I mean the chances are mm -hmm. low. But Have we seen Savage Roar? Nope, nope, no All Force. Right. So that's three cards. I mean Force isn't lethal anymore, but three cards for lethal. Three out of sixteen. What yeah, touch they like? It's fine. Maybe he, only, he plays like <laughs> only one combo. No, that's not it. You keep it a four-one now. I think you just leave the three two alive. I must safeguard the land. Like there is a four one weapon out I now, actually so you're think, a bit scared. I think maybe. you spare part the Toshley. Uh maybe maybe not. Wait, he has the five, four, four one weapon is. He up. has nine damage staring at him. Yeah, I think I would I mean feel he more knows, comfortable clearing a little bit. Yeah, I will clear now, yeah. I mean if if he really thinks about it, he knows that there shouldn't be yeah. four extra damage because it was. If I your mean, opponent clears here, he loses anyways, right? Like he's basically got to kill you. Yeah, but the spare part doesn't make sense because Blaze Fury will Ooh. still kill everything. Yeah, would have been one off. Yeah, so not many options here actually. You you draw from the yeah. Talos yep. because uh, cycle your dude. Hope for Blade Fury. Blade Fury would still be pretty good. Blade Fury, go. Oh, ouch. So we're going to see a 2-1 lead here for hype. Yes. There's nothing he can do. No. Mm. So all he needs to do is win with his mage deck. What do we think mage. it is? I freeze. think, I think, I it's think hype is not going to bring mech mage. He's going to yeah. bring a freeze or a mid-range mage. I'm, yeah, yeah. I, like, I mean, hype has played a lot of different mages yeah. over, over the time of his career, so...
And also a lot of different like yeah, he, types well, of mid range. Like he mage. has actually made so many weird uh, mage decks yeah. too, like the hyped mage deck that was yeah, the like weirdest deck I've ever seen. Yeah, like without fireballs with like Azure, like uh, Twilight Drakes. Yeah, yeah. So he, I mean, he loves mage. Anything. He yeah. l he really loves mage. So I will I will actually expect something we that has at least something special in it. Yeah, no, I, he's not gonna be playing mech mm -hmm. mage. No, I mean I, I would think it would be freeze mage just because Emperor is so broken in the deck. Yeah, yeah. But it could be anything. Yeah, so we will see soon it. find we will out. See it, man. It's okay. mech mage. No, or maybe not. It can maybe be not. mid. Yeah. It can be mid range. Yeah, it might he be will like definitely a like tempo mage. mage. Like they mech call it mage. tempo mage. No. Yeah. No, I mean, double scientist is pretty good. Yeah. Um, Even you don't want to play maybe both. Yeah. I guess you. I mean, you throw the shredder. Like it depends mm. how many secrets you have. If you have two, it depends on what deck he's playing, man. Yeah. Like with this, he has a pretty good curve here. If it's he plays Freeze tempo mage. mage with piloted shredder tech. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Yeah, that would really I, be tricky. I won't mind keeping the wall hands here. I, I, really? Again, it depends. Yeah, because on because your deck curve you're is pretty good, yeah. and if you don't run, I don't know if you if he only if he runs like mana worms, it's like the only one drop. Mm. The tempo mage doesn't really play three drops. If, so if, if it was mech mage, if it actually is his mech mage, I would never keep both mad scientists. No, no, no. Yeah. Then it makes. And then I would never keep the Paladin shredder either. No, that's uh, true. But it tempo mage, you can. I guess it isn't mech mage. Fireball. Well, still doesn't really <laughs> <to> help <laughs> us here, man. Still have no idea. Oh, oh. it is. So mech it is mech mage, I guess. Huh. I, I he has to have some sort out. of tech in there though. Hyped has gone to the dark side, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty gross. Ew. Pretty gross. <laughs> oh, God. I'll show them. I'll show them all. I don't think I've ever seen him play Mech Mage. So, coin aside, the earth comes. The best combo. I guess it does proc the secret, but. Yeah, it procs the secret, but you, like you get a 3 3, but yep. you, you're, you still have your turn 3 while there's uh, Deadly Poison. Yep. Hmm. I mean, I don't think there's much to think and about here. Like you can, it's like one of the worst minions also that you can give. And so. I mean, you don't know. You still don't yeah. know if it's this could be freeze mage. Yeah, for all yeah. Knows. insulates especially point. against hypes. Especially against hypes, yeah. I would say this is. Yeah. I mean, this guy's toast. He still doesn't exactly know what it is. Yeah, it could yeah. still be tempo mage, and that's the, the that's the power of mage. I mean, there's three co really competitive mage decks mage right now. Mage is the new warlock, guys. I mean, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Kind of. It is. Think about it. Hello, hello. How do you mulligan against a deck like this right now? I mean, you kind of you kind of keep yeah. the same cards, yeah, especially if you're kinda. playing rogue. I mean, it's, rogue, I guess it's not rogue. as as crazy as trying to figure out if they're playing zoo or handlock. Yeah, I mean, all mage decks still. are kind of the same. I mean, freeze is a lot more control, but so what do you do? I guess you just deadly poison. Yeah, I'm thinking how the Earth and Ring fits here on the board. I don't. I, I mean, I'm kind of scared of Blast Mage. Like now that I'm pretty sure that it's Mech. But isn't two playing on second minion then better? Otherwise, like I mean, killing him just three, clear three the, two you SI just, deal. You can just clear the the Mech. Yeah, but that's the point. Yeah, that actually hmm. sounds pretty good. And then you just have it set up for next turn. And you can just play a Violet Teacher or a Apollo the Shredder. I mean, your curve yeah, is actually your curve is actually back. really good if you just deadly poison this turn. On turn five, you can play Earthen Ring at this rate. Oh, he decides to do it this way. I don't actually know if I like this. Yeah, I would rather have the deadly poison up right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I would too. I mean, mm. it depends what I mean. Now you just have a you have a one deck like. One dagger, like now. Yeah, but the deadly poison didn't do anything there. Uh, it I don't cleared. Know. I mean, well, it, he would have it yeah. for this turn. I mean, I guess he could still play it this turn, but he could have already had it and then. But done now something you could like actually clear both minions and play a four drop. So many yeah. options. Yeah. It's just like for for next turn, it was just a lot better. Because what do you do now? Well, I mean, you can play your Earth and Ring. It's three drop and <laughs> clear. No. I mean, you don't you don't want to play deadly on this just one. You don't want to, but you can't be too greedy against Mech Mage. So you've got two deadly options. poisons. I mean, you have to just start clearing. You've already decided that you didn't want to do it last turn, so. Hmm. But I regret it. So I, I, I regret still do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Casters, don't hate on me. Well, deadly poison, Earthen Ring is still. 
It's okay, but I would yeah. I would like to see Shredder more and trade. I wonder. Like just mm. It seems a lot better to me. Next turn Earth and Ring S at this. Yeah, uh, next turn Earth and Ring of S. Or if you really want to, you could play Violet Teacher Deadly Poison next turn. Alright, he goes with you. Wait. Oh, what? Never mind. I mean. Well, he might be looking at this as a lot of damage in his hand, too. I mean, like, Blade Fury is always a thing. Oh, low tap. I just see it. Wow. Oh, God. Oh, That's nice. a card, man. All the. Seems like everything Zalea is doing is wrong this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, every turn is like, oh god. Yeah. I mean, Lothab into Lothab, it doesn't really help him. No, no he's taking too much damage. He's There's already a fireball so in his much hand. Damage. Like, Hyped is just gonna clean this right up. I think you just. So many. I think this options. is one of those scenarios where you attack into his shredder and you hope. <laughs> you pray. Yeah. One, yeah, I won't mind it here, actually. 1 in 63. It's like Doomseer, Doomseer, Doomseer. One time dealer. <laughs> I wonder. I like that. <laughs> no. That's not it. No, that's not it. Well, now you gotta attack your your I shredder mean, in and see what I you mean, get with that. Yeah, I no, but think with it's... yours it doesn't matter because it would have to be on. It's one more turn. So. But don't you want to get rid of? Three well, I mean, you're not here? looking for the doomsayer there, right? You're like, looking for an Anoyatron. A fireball yeah, yeah, is. But that, that's, that's right. But that's right. with fireballs, one damage off now. Yeah. Oh, he drew frostbolt. So. Oh, it's that's just never mind. It. That's just that's it. That's just it. It's well, that was just quick. over you. Wow. That was a quick last game, man. And that's why you play mech mage, I guess. Yeah. That's high. It's taking the series tr with three one over Zale. Yeah. After losing the first game, he just took three in a row. Three against Rogue, right? Like three times, Soleil played Rogue. Was it all? No, three? no, he played no. Druid once. Yeah, yeah. He played Druid once. No, Hype played Druid. Yeah, and Hyde he won lost with Druid, with Druid against the oh. Shulk. Yeah, like but we didn't saw, Rogue we didn't saw yeah, the we didn't see the Hunter. That's right. That's yeah. right. So it, hey, it was that's three actually with Rogue. Zalei, we don't know what he's playing for Hunter. It's mm -hmm. pretty good. Maybe he's playing like Godzilla or whatever the thing uh, is called. Control Hunter. Yeah, it could be. Could be. No, not really. All right, so we're gonna bring Hype to over. Get a little talk. He's ready. Yeah. Talk about why he brought Mech Mage, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hyped. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank nice, you. Nice win there. Uh, killing off that rogue deck three times. Yeah. Uh, why did you bring Mech Mage? We really didn't think you would bring Mech Mage of all the, all the mage players. Uh, I think it's a little stronger than people think, and um, it's really good against Druid, which... I've noticed there is a split. There's a big split. A lot of, a lot of the Archon guys are doing an anti-Druid lineup with mm -hmm. a lot of Mech things like Mech Shaman, which was insanely strong against Druid. I, I don't know if that was like better than average draw, but that was... That was a better than... <laughs> that, well, let's just say that good. that was well, a better was actually, than average. I was watching uh, Zixo. Zixo destroyed Alesh. Alesh couldn't do anything as Druid as well, so I'm like kind of scared of that. I might have to ban that in the future. But yeah, and then Mech Mage is just... When I play, I, I play a lot of Conquest, and um, typically I notice in my lineup that my Mech Mage is always the strongest. Hmm. When I face up against everyone else, it's always like the strongest. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to keep playing this for now. Okay, fair enough. Makes sense. Yeah, I think our, you you said that we're not gonna see Mech Mage from Hype. Like well, I mean, I I copied like all of Hype's Mage decks, and none of them have been Mech Mage. And Mech Mage is like the dirty deck on the ladder right now. And I always put him above that, but no. I guess he wants to win the tournament, so that makes no, sense, right? Makes sense. You guys have any uh, questions about the series? Um, um, it was interesting a bit for me the the mage to ban. Why did you want to ban the mage from Zalei? Oh, freeze mage was a little bit scary mm -hmm. for me. I'm not sure what he's playing, and I was just a little worried about freeze yeah. mage. Mm. It makes sense. Like in the first series, you don't know what they play for a kind of yeah. mage, so it's just really hard to to face at that moment. Yeah, like if he banned my druid, mm -hmm. then freeze mage would have wiped something. my whole lineup. So, yeah. mm -hmm. so do you have a preferred opponent in the winners? Oh, well, he's going up against Lothar. Yeah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, we already know. That. Otherwise, already it will be a team kill, man. Yeah. yeah. You don't want that. No. So, are you are you gonna advance the group with Froden together? Yes, definitely. We have yeah. to. We gotta pick up for Raynad. Mm -hmm. He told us we gotta make up for his loss. Okay. Sick. Do you feel uh, good with your deck mm -hmm. matchup against Lothar? I know you must have been watching the series. Uh, I was watching and I took note, but like I put it in the back of my mind, I didn't want to think about it until yeah. after my match. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll let you go start thinking about that. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we're going to be going into that match next, guys. Uh, but first, we're going to go to a quick look.